The Adjutant General Corps traces its origins to 1775, when the Continental Congress appointed Horatio Gates as the Army's first Adjutant General. Serving as a key advisor to George Washington, General Gates epitomized the expertise and professionalism that would become the hallmarks of the Adjutant General Corps. Today's Adjutant General Corps sustains the force by planning, coordinating, and delivering essential human resources support to both soldiers and their families, whether stationed at home or abroad. Adjutant General officers are expert managers of the Army's most important resource, its people. Their human resource organizations deliver world-class services and support across soldiers' entire Army careers, from initial entry to transition or retirement. Junior Adjutant General officers can expect to serve as primary staff members in tactical Army units, providing a full range of human resource services. This includes personnel accounting, casualty reporting, postal operations, professional military education, promotions, evaluations, and awards. As they approach mid-career, Adjutant General officers are afforded graduate educational opportunities to deepen their human resource expertise, preparing them to create effective operational and strategic personnel policies that will shape the Army's future. Adjutant General Corps officers possess a special blend of skills, knowledge, and behaviors. Their unique talents help them to succeed in any mission. Interpersonal. Adjutant General officers are skilled in developing appropriate relationships, enabling them to connect with others in a way that delivers the best results for the individual soldiers and the unit as a whole. AG places such an emphasis on interpersonal talent because you are constantly working with people. You need to know how to deal with people. You need to understand backgrounds. Number one, it's a customer service um, branch. You are constantly dealing with soldiers, with their families, with commanders, with your peers. You've got to be able to reach out and establish those relationships in order to make things happen. And when you can connect to them on a personal level, um, it, they respond to you in a, much, in a much more positive way. Communicator. Adjutant General officers are precise, efficient, and compelling communicators, whether providing sound advice to commanders or interacting with their primary customers, soldiers and civilians alike. I think that it's one of the main jobs of an AG officer to be a communicator. It makes me better at my job to, to learn how to communicate with, with people um, and always engage with them. You know, being able to effectively say what it is you want to say about that NCO or that officer, AG officers are looked at to do that. Everything that we handle is correspondence in some form or fashion. We communicate the intent to our commander so he or she can make an intelligent decision. Logical, analytical. Adjutant general officers are able to disaggregate and solve complex problems. Thinking in terms of cause and effect, they logically develop effective personnel policies to support soldiers and their families. When it comes to personnel service support, you have to find the most logical and effective ways of executing um, parts of a mission. If you can look at it from the perspective of, I have to use my logic more so than my emotions or more so than my technical abilities, I think your ability to affect change will be much greater. There are circumstances where the regulation, um, for whatever reason, isn't appropriate for a certain situation. You have several complex situations that come up on a regular basis and you need to be able to first stay calm just to know that they're, you know, it's not a crisis, you can get through this. Detail focused. Adjutant general officers are thorough and precise. Their attention to detail ensures the strictest accountability and accuracy in all personnel administrative matters for the Army's most important resource, its people. I believe I'm a good fit for the AG Corps. I'm very detail-oriented. I'm very precise and focused on any mission that I've been given to plan or execute and um, data and information that I need to track. You also have to be able to to work with a, a high degree of precision and a high degree of, of technical accuracy. 
uh, in order to, to work with personnel numbers. Paying attention to detail, double checking, triple checking your numbers, your facts, and making sure that you're absolutely confident with the information that you have when you go to brief your commander. Multitasker. Constantly faced with simultaneous challenges, Adjutant General Officers effectively prioritize and respond to multiple demands. The scope of the AG branch from, you know, recruiting and marketing to, you know, the psychology and, and those sorts of things of dealing with families and service members as far as casualties and working with the chaplain and the medical community and, and the legal community. Um, it just touches so many aspects of our service. You are a sponge soaking up everything that's going on around you because you're addressing multiple things and you really have to stop and say, okay, let me address things as they come, prioritize things. So being able to, to balance all of these demands on your time and, and certainly um, on your resources, being able to balance all of that while making sure, of course, that you're keeping track in, on, uh, of everything that you do have under your, under your purview. I went to school at Siena College. I went to Appalachian State University. I was commissioned at West Point. I went to Virginia Tech. And I graduated in 2003 with degrees in political science and English. My major was recreation management. Bachelor of Science in engineering management. I majored in English, uh, minored in leadership studies. So we provide information, timely and accurate information, to commanders to make decisions, but we also do the same thing for individual soldiers. In AG, you have to balance the needs of the Army with the needs of those soldiers that you're supporting. As a battalionist one, or even as a brigadist one, looking to, to put people in the right places and match them with, uh, with the right kinds of jobs that maximize their skills. I love doing that. Whether I'm in garrison or I'm deployed, I'm doing my mission every day, and that's providing HR services to the soldiers and the commander. So the, the human contact for me is very important. Try to help someone, and the AG Corps, that's, that's the primary job, customer service. So I turned to AG because I thought that, well, this is what matters. The Army's made of people, and the AG branch supports the people. It's everything that, that has to do with bringing someone into the Army developing and mentoring them throughout their careers and when they're getting ready to transition out of the Army. The most important weapon that the Army has is a soldier, and who handles that is the AG Corps. There's nothing more rewarding than helping soldiers. Defend and serve.